Instagram seemed to have made some changes, moving away from Square to other formats. My super modest account shows a couple of images which I'm going to explore. You'll see this 1080 slide down here, which is the maximum resolution that used to be a square. Let me show you with examples from other accounts. So here's Nikki French makeup, super account, go check it out. Now you'll see that's very clearly a square image. Looking at another one, we have also a square image. I'm fascinated to see what accounts like this do with the new aspect ratios. So last night we saw a upload 20 hours ago from Fickle Friends. You'll notice that there's white borders at the top, white borders at the bottom. Moving on to this upload from the band Churches, you can see that we have a 4 by 3 ratio of a new uh, Instagram look. Also, I'd like to think that the, these two are sitting here going, hey, have you seen those new Instagram uh, movements away from Square? And they're like, Meh. what's that about? So this is one of mine. You'll notice that an upload last night is a 1080 by 810 maximum. In the second part of this video, I'll show you how where that figure comes from. It is an aspect of 4 by 3. This one here is a baby kestrel. This is an aspect of 1.2. It's blurred because it's a small image, but you'll see, just going back, that you can see clearly the bark at the top of the head here. If you go back to here, you can see that what Instagram is doing is cutting off and it's cropping that part in. That could cause a problem, I think, for a lot of people who are used to using Instagram over the last few years. I would also say that the portrait look like this is not that great, and I'll come to that uh, in a moment of why. The reason is, is because if you look at this one, which is just an example of one of my panoramas, which I've had to crop in, it's 1080 by 565, which is an aspect of 1.9 wide by one high. So that's 1.9. It's almost like two squares, but it looks quite good on the page. And then here's another one there. Look, as an example, just to say how wide could I get it? And again, that is... 1080 wide by 556 high. And if you're not sure about aspect ratio, you can see that this square in the middle here is all about what a square looks like. If we go to the movies, we might see different aspect ratios. The biggest you can get is 4 by 1, which is amazing to look at. The ones that you're probably looking at with your own photography and regular use is 4 by 3s, all the way down here, 16 by 9, the yellow one is a widescreen TV. And if you go to the movies, you're probably looking at something about 2.4 when the, the curtains wind back. So this slide on the left here is just showing that anything wide and anything high. That concludes this part of the video. And here in part two, we're going to be looking at the desktop variant. This time it's Chrome 46 beta and I'm using Windows 10. So with my own account, you can see that we have got some images here. So... This is the beauty, I think, of Instagram at the moment, where we can look at desktop and get a whole different experience. So, for an example, our little baby kestrel is sitting. When I open it up, it pops to a portrait, and we can see it like that. If I scroll through, and this is just using the, the layout um, app thing from Android. So, the point of it is that if we look here, we can see a very wide image that is coming out, uh, as we said. Now... If I looked at the, the church's account, we can see that this one, which is an image, which is an earlier image, that we've got a very clear black top, black bottom. But when we go and look at the recent upload, just to prove the point, 4x3, I think it looks like a photography experience. Now, the same thing goes for Nikki French Makeup, where the reason I like this account is because it shows that Nikki French and her team maybe just Nikki French, I don't know, work very, very hard at every single image. When I say work very hard, I reject anything at Instagram that looks like some kind of selfie with a mirror shot with a phone in the hand or someone sitting in their car. What I see here from Nikki French is not only some good images, but every so often, let me get one, that we've got a black and white image. And you can see it's very, very clear that at the moment Nikki French's account is looking at black and white images, usually about four uploads a day. But the point I'm making is they are all square. I'm fascinated to see that if something like Nikki French does adopt the portrait or landscape format. However, we've got to be very careful because going back to this situation over here, that if we get a crop of the top, or a crop of the sides, then I think it's going to make the overall scheme of things at Instagram look a little bit difficult. Now, 
one of the things that I'm going to show you, which I sort of cringe about, but I'm going to show you anyway, and that is to how we know what this image is looking like. So for an example, we right click and we say inspect element. When this opens up some tools in Chrome, we can see a drop down here. And if I just right click again, inspect element, we can see that there is some code down here. If you look at div style and click it, you will see that there is a line here which shows us that it's a private photo with the image at the resolution of seven, let's hold it, 750 by 707. Okay, so if we go back to one of my other images, and this is the final part of this video, and then I'll get out, and notice I'm inspecting my own account and not others, because I don't believe in you know looking at the back end of code very often. However, if this is going to be an extreme example of a good thing for Instagram, then it's important we know we've got some good images. So this one is promised to be 1080. If I inspect the element straight away again, then we get something looking, and if I hover over this look, you can see it's 600 by 600. Look, look at the top image where my mouse is, 600 by 600, and we think, okay, that's, that's not bad, but what was the image that Instagram is actually holding? And once again, if I hold on it, it's a 600 by 600, but the true image is 1080 by 1080. That's really big. That's really big, and I am going to demonstrate this in one final thing and end this video. So let's say we look at one of Nikki's photos here and we inspected that just to see you know and i'm bigging up this account and i'm bigging up instagram at this stage because it's opened up a lot of photographic possibilities for me um so if we have a look in here we can see that on holding that that is only a 750 by 750 if we did open it in a new tab just to see and inspect you know what an image it is it looks like this we can also see that there is a little uh, magnifying glass with a plus and there is the final. If Nikki did, and Nikki's account uploaded something like 1080 by 1080, that's a huge image that we can see on the web. So thank you very much, and this concludes this video.